Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, Mr. Silver 2000 here. And a question I get asked quite a bit is, you know, what I'm running PC specs wise. And with, you know, the release of uh, 320 kind of around the corner, uh, we hope, and with Starfield just about like, you know, a little over a week away, I thought it'd be a good time to kind of jump into this and show you guys what I run setup wise. I'd say it's kind of uh, maybe a little bit higher than middle of the road per se, but it's a it's a good system, and I'm just gonna go ahead and jump and show you what Jesh runs behind me on her system, and yeah, what kind of you can expect from it. But real quick, I think to start this out, we're gonna jump over to the Star Citizen page, look at their recommended settings and kind of like the preferred settings and minimum system requirements and stuff like that, and see what they're saying. So just getting into these minimum system requirements for a star citizen, you know, it's it's telling you eight to ten on Windows, a quad core, you know, Sandy Bridge or later, the AMD bulldozer or later, you know, these are kind of like older, older sets. Um, graphics card with at least three gigabytes of RAM. I mean, any of your graphics card nowadays, you're lower in. Like if you're going to be gaming, usually you're on a 3050, 3060, and it usually comes with at least six. So minimum system requirements, you know, you're going to be good to go. 16 gigabytes of RAM is pretty much standard across the board now for any type of like, you know, even low end gaming, usually 16 gigabytes is recommended. But jumping over here to the recommended, kind of the same on the CPU, and they want you to run the latest version of Windows 10 at least. Um, four gigabytes of VRAM, that's, you know, like I said, that's if, if you're on the lower end of a card, you're probably going to be plenty with this. And again, 16 plus gigabytes of memory. I know quite a few people who are playing this on 16 gigabytes of RAM and it runs just fine. Anytime you run into some issues, it's probably gonna be on the server side. Don't think that it's your rig. So real fast, I'm gonna get you guys over to the Starfield. Let's see what's recommended on the Starfield front. Okay, so looking at these Starfield recommendations kind of on Steam, you know, you're still running the Windows 10, AMD Ryzen 5 2600X or Intel Core i7-6800K. That's kind of, you know, a little, it's a lot higher than what even Star Citizen is recommending. 16 gigs of bytes of RAM. Again, that's kind of like a standard now almost. And a graphics card of a 1070 Ti or higher. Now that's quite a bit because a 1070 is an 8 gigabyte card. And, you know, a 1070 was, you know, a, a nice version of, the, of a 1070 card with the Ti. So, moving to the recommended settings, an AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Now, that's we're getting up there now, right? This is kind of like a little higher than middle of the road just for recommended settings. And then an i5 10600K, 10, 10, 16 gigabytes of RAM still, which is different. I would expect that to jump up to like, you know, at least a little higher, maybe 32 just to throw it out there. But still sticking with the 16 gigs of ram graphics card 6800 xt or a 2080 see we we're we're kind of up there you know 2080 cards are still not you know that cheap it, I, i'd still call it a little higher than middle of the road right now in the gaming market on on average of what people are playing with um the storage still 125 across the board for uh, starfield and you know ssds are acquired on both star citizen and starfield now I want to jump over and talk to you guys kind of about my personal rig and what I'm running. So yeah, guys, let me throw my rig up on the screen, took a little video of it for you so you can see kind of what the inside looks at. Looks like I, I kind of try to keep it as clean as I possibly can, and we will go through the specs. So I'm running a 5800 XD processor. I love it. It was one of my favorite upgrades that I did. I've had it for, I guess, about six months now and it runs fabulous it keeps all my frames running great on star citizen and i don't expect it to be any different with star filled so i am running the 3080 ti um i've been looking at kind of maybe thinking about upgrading to the 4080 but i'm not sure yet the 3080 has been trucking along just fine and for me playing in the 1440 i think i'm good to go for right now now i'm running 16 or actually 16 i'm running 32 gigabytes of ddr4 3600 um it is corsair i'm running a triple fan as you saw above on the top of my case i'm running a triple fan msi aio cooler does absolutely fantastic i originally started out with a dual fan 
And when I went to the new processor and everything, I upgraded to the uh, triple fan and it's perfect. No overheating issues, no problem with the AO o cooler at all. I am running two M2 SSD drives. Now I have a C and a D drive, but one thing I learned is for whatever reason, and maybe this was just something that happened with how I'm running it, Star Citizen was having quite a bit of trouble running on the D drive, the secondary SSD where I had it installed. And that's usually what I use for most of my games. Everything else plays perfect, but for whatever reason, man, I got so much pop in and stuff not loading. And as soon as I switched it to my main C drive, like 95% was completely eliminated. And so if you're having trouble, do try that. I highly recommend you try making sure that the game is installed on your main drive. So let's move on to Jessica's. Let me throw a little bit of it up here. Now you can see before I do, she's right there behind me and her, her little rig that we built her. And we built it to be a compact rig because she's taking it back and forth. And we wanted to keep the weight down and easy for her to manage it. So this rig was built almost specifically around 1080p and being a mobile rig. So she ended up getting my 5600X when I upgraded to the 5800X3D. So 5600X AMD, she's running the Zotac 3070. Now the reason we went with that one is again, because it's a dual fan and it's small. Um, as you saw in the video, it's, it's a very small fan and uh, it's a very small graphics card fits nicely in the case, keeps the weight down. The case itself is a Corsair, as you can see, it's got the fans on the front and one fan on the rear. She is running 32 gigabytes as well of DDR4-3600. And she is running the stock cooler. And at first I thought maybe we would have some issues with some overheating, especially on Star Citizen. That's not the case. It was zero issues, not one issue with overheating. It stays almost just as cool as mine, it's crazy. That little stock cooler like does a fantastic job. So if you're thinking that you might need to upgrade, I, I don't, there's no way. It's a great cooler. So the stock AMD cooler that came with the 5600X. Now she is also running the M2 SSD. And yeah, guys, that's really it. Um, that's our setup. Uh, hope the video kind of how we have the cases set up. We try to keep them clean, wire management, stuff like that. Um, I did put both of these cases together. And yeah, haven't had an issue. Um, bought a lot of parts um, offline, but mostly from my local store, which was Micro Center. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, please make sure you comment below and I'll try to answer anything I can. I think our two rigs are going to do fantastic when Starfield comes out. I know it's a single player game and we're not going to be able to do much co-oping or anything like that, but I can see her maybe wanting to get into this after it comes out for a little bit. So maybe we'll get her going on her own channel or something maybe soon. But yeah, thanks guys for sticking around. Again, comment below if you have any questions. And as always, I will see you on the next video.